Y'all, I was just so excited for this release, I could barely read it. Oh, well, then allow me to go on the record, that is Fox 54 News at 9 o'clock, to say I absolutely and unequivocally hate all things Muppet. What? Miss Piggy is the most beautiful... I said what I said. Don't at me. ...detailed. Her costume is made. The love between Kerm Kermit... I always call him Kermie because Bo has a frog named Kermie after Kermit. Kermit and Miss Piggy <laughs> is beautiful. There was absolutely nothing wrong with the original Haunted Mansion, and I see no reason why we need to go screw it up with the Muppets. It was a beautiful afternoon across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Temperatures had absolutely no problem climbing into the lower 80s this afternoon. Huntsville International saw 83 degrees, upper 70s in Arab and Albertville, but that's okay, still a beautiful day, right around where they should be this time of year. They saw highs this afternoon of 79 degrees. Athens and Decatur, Florence over in Northwest Alabama all saw highs this afternoon of 86. Pulaski and Fayetteville up in Southern Middle Tennessee saw highs this afternoon of 82 degrees. Pinpoint Viper looks nice and quiet this evening. Ignore the little bit of green you do see. That's just a little bit of ground clutter. That typically happens when the radar beam hits inanimate objects. We're not going to be talking about any rain, at least through the weekend, even through Monday of next week. It's not until we get to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and next Friday that we bring back the smallest opportunities for rain into the Tennessee Valley. Here's why we'll be talking about that opportunity for rain. By the time we get to Monday afternoon, we're talking about an area of low pressure back off to our west and an associated cold front. With that cold front is a fair amount of precipitation. Interesting thing, though, about this cold front. As this entire area of low pressure and associated cold front gradually begin to push to the east, this cold front's really going to weaken, fizzle out. It's not really going to be all that impactful. And as the cold front fizzles out, all of the precipitation associated with the cold front is really going to fizzle out right along with it. So by the time we get to next Friday, this gets us through about a week from today, rainfall totals are going to be less than impressive across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Here's what I got for you as we head into the overnight. A little bit of patchy dense fog is liable to develop across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Otherwise, I've got a low right around 62 degrees. Y'all, look at this weekend. It is going to be an absolutely beautiful weekend to spend outside. You don't need to be inside watching something that the Muppets have managed to try and scrounge together. 83 on Saturday, plenty of sunshine. 84 on Sunday, once again, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures considerably above where we should be this time of year. We should be talking about highs right around 78 or 79 degrees. Believe it or not, dew points are actually not going to be that big of an issue as we head into the weekend either. The temperatures kind of look like late summer, but I don't think the dew points are going to reflect that. Saturday afternoon, upper 50s, 50s and lower 60s. Are you going to be able to tell? Yeah, but is it going to be oppressively humid? No, it definitely isn't. Are we talking about a little more moisture by the time we get to Sunday? Yeah, we certainly are with dew points climbing into the lower 60s. Still not going to be that bad across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. I want to show you Saturday hour by hour because I want to prove that the entire day is going to be absolutely fantastic. You want to go outside in the morning, go for that morning run. It's going to be great. Upper 60s, lower 70s. By the time we get to the lunch hour, we're already talking about temperatures in the mid and upper 70s. And then again, through the heart of the afternoon, temperatures consistently hanging out in the lower 80s. The Huntsville Ghost Walks in downtown Huntsville, 79 at 6, 75 at 7. Still going to be decently warm at 8 o'clock, sitting right around 73 degrees. Have a good look at the next seven days. There's your weekend, 83 and 84, 83 on Monday, 80 on Tuesday, still hanging out in the lower 80s through Wednesday and Thursday of next week. I've got highs each day of 83 degrees. Hey, I want to tell you guys about a brand new weather group that Emily and I have recently started. It's the Tennessee Valley's Fox 54 Weather Network. So far, it's been a really great community, and I hope you'll consider going to Facebook and joining it. Just type in the search bar, the Tennessee Valley's Fox 54 Weather Network. Ask to join the group. I'll let you in. We've shared some great weather photos. We've had some great weather discussions, and we've also had some uh, some nice exclusive little Facebook lives that I don't do on my main page. So I hope you'll join the group. I hope you'll ask your weather questions and share your weather photos and just kind of have a little bit of weather-related fun with Emily and myself. That's all I got for you this